I'm coming to get you. Hey guys, Jacker here. The Vera Zero Cup. I'm gonna go straight into it, no messing. Windwalker. Walker. See, I can, I can say it right. This time I'm gonna do the Bishop Cup. You know, one down from Queen. Already done the hardest cup. As you could do, see by the chess piece. So, Bianca City. Uh, well, let's see about this cup. I think it's the easiest cup to get through. Because there's so many ways you can ex exploit each track to, well, stay ahead. Because, you know, obviously on Master Difficulty, as I look, they're just immediately away from me, and unlike Expert, they're gone. I think on Expert, they'll, they'll stay in front of you, but on Master, they're going to go off into the distance, unless you can use every trick in the book, like take the best line, block the craft behind you. Yeah, look way in the distance. I think I'm having to use my boost early. Yeah. I'd rather use it later in the lap, but boost is one of the few ways you have to stay ahead of these guys. Bianca City. I like how obviously, yeah, because this game is set 20 years after the original F-Zero, I think. And at the same time, there are completely new tracks involved. Oh yeah, and obviously I like Bianca City. It's not a bad environment. It's... Well, uh, I suppose because the first the first track in the game is Bianca City, so it's more based around beginners, and it? It's a Falcon in fourth. That means... No, Falcons in third. It means... Oh god. Thank you, A grade time performance. Uh, actually, I think you could get away, despite the fact that this track is called Tightrope, you could probably get away boosting around this track, or even with Jet Vermillion. Uh, in which, I don't know, even if I unlock that crap, I haven't unlocked Jet Vermillion yet, but I'm not willing to use it. So, last lap, and there's the Falcon in second. Again, I'm having to boost early just to stay second. And if I can, yep, got my nose just in front of Fireball, I can block him. I think that was a falcon I just blocked, even still. Just gotta stay just to arm. Oh. Damn it. The falcon wins. Yeah, like I say, just keep the best line. I don't think I did quite do enough there to block falcon. Ah, oh, that's a new record. Sweet. Ancient Mesa. This probably is my favourite environment. This is probably not one of my favourite tracks. Well, definitely not one of my favourite tracks, though. Uh, but to stay ahead in this one, yeah, probably just all about using the line again. Especially at the end of the circuit, you can see it's really tight. Again, I've got another boost start, that's not bad. And, alright, disadvantage of this track, though, is that it's split. You can just see the... JB Crystal and the fire. Well, JB Crystal got past me because of the split, so I couldn't block. Got a uh, down the inside though of that last corner. And yeah, that's what happens if you go into the into the little recovery strip. And I'm being juggled around. I'm surprised at how many how much power I've still got, considering this is the Windwalker. I will apologise. Yeah, I did completely screw up my commentary to go Waker instead of Walker. I think I've made a caption of saying it. Oh, the Wing Walker or Nietzsche. Half shield and about two hits. Although, yeah, I will maintain that it is my personal favourite craft to use. I don't like the colours, but, you know. I've always been more of a mobile person than a tank. So, Windwalker over Jet Vermillion, for example. Ninja Cloves over Heavy Armor. You know. Back to the racing. Uh, well, I'm using having to, again, I'm having to use my boost pretty early. I mean, yeah, I'd rather use it around here so that I can just leap from them using the boost. Oh, not bad though. Final lap. Uh, 
Alright, completely wrong use of a mine there. You know, people in the championship runs, they use the mines to get a speed boost. I think I just used that one to go backwards. I'm not really reliable in my use of mines. Or boats. I'm just going to call them mines. Oh, damn it. I could have won that race. Definitely could have won that race. JV Crystal just snuck up my inside, which is what I'm supposed to be doing to them to stay in the race. No new records there, I see. Uh, fairly solid lap times, I, I'm i hoping anyway. I don't know what the best lap times for these tracks are. Craterland. Again, it's another track which is easy to stay ahead at. It's just simply about using the arrows. If you use the arrows, you're on the level playing field with these craft because you're all going at the same speed. Simple. Just got to be careful when you hit this bit because this is, I think, is the longest bit between boost arrows. And cons considering you got no, no boost, you're going to be vulnerable. I think I've lost the position. Should be no worries though. I can get back ahead of the hot violet. No problem. Let's just wait. Yep, see, using the boost just to get a little bit more of an advantage. Dancing around back markers. It's a love-hate thing, these back markers. I hate the fact that they're in the race. Blocking me, basically. Well, I could have done better there. That was pretty dumb of me to hit that apex. Uh, I've only just still got the lead. I think I had to use my boost early there. Otherwise... Damn back marks, I think that one got boosted up by Hot Violet. Biggest problem with this track though, as you can see, it's either use the boost arrows or use the recovery strip. I do not want to be using the recovery strips. Because yeah. And again I've just displayed to you guys how not to use a mine. Damn back markers. The worst place to encounter them and I just about have. Right, I'm glad the other two have to use a recovery strip. But, that's not good. I'm in fourth. Damn it! I know Wind Waker's... Wind Walker. Damn it. I know he's weak, but this is ridiculous. I've got no power left. This is literally... I'm literally going to limp to the finish now. Use the... Oh! Oh! Take that! Last lap. I am so lucky. Damn. <laughs> oh, that is irritating though. I said a new lap record. That is irritating though, because I could have went. I went from could have won the race to limping to the finish. Lucky enough to actually have finished. That was irritating. But this track. How do we win on this track, ladies and gentlemen? Well, at the end of a the lap. There's a jump. You can completely avoid that hairpin. That means I have to save my boost for it. That's no worries because you get boost arrows here that, you know, just keep you in touch with the other guys. Ah, another fun bit of a road. Or track. I'm not liking that. And the Falcon's giving me a hard time now, and I'm in the wall. That's the fighting comet. I'm going to give you the un undercut. See? F1 terms being used there. <laughs> take a better line, or the AI is forced to take a wider line just to get their nose ahead of me. They don't honestly have to do that though, they just have to out drag me and hope that I don't block them, which of course I'm going to do. Still fighting with Comet for fifth place. See, so use the boost now, get as much of it as I can, hit the jump, alright, completely mess it up because I hit the wall slowed me down and I just about ran out of boost before hitting the jump. See what I mean next lap though. I'm just gonna just sit back, yep, yeah, watch this fight. Don't worry, I'll pounce at some point. I'll definitely pounce. Just gotta take ninja reflexes to avoid these back markers. Oh, this is gonna end well. Oh, okay. A free craft pile up, and then I'd have to try and get past them. That wasn't gonna end well. And so, yep, see, use the boost, Wind Walker's jump. I think he's got the highest jump in the game, I think I discussed this last video. 
Anyways, I'm having to take the slower. Ah, oh, had to take the slower bit of the track, and had basically got smashed into the wall by Hot Violet and JB Crystal, and then after that corner fireball just to add insult to your injury. Second place. Where is Hot Violet? Just, yeah, nice blocking move there. Ow! Ow, you son of a bitch! Right, you got hit into a mine into me. I don't, I'm pretty sure craft on craft damage isn't supposed to be that high. Yep, just taking avoiding action even for the mines. I'm not I'm not gonna risk it. Those guys that do the championship runners on as JV. I don't well, not necessarily as JV, but just managed to hit the mines to get a good boost on the first lap. It's crazy, I couldn't do that. Bianca C, the ultimate circuit. Huh. <laughs> That's probably because this is the Bishop Bishop Cup and Master no, there's the Queen Cup, but you haven't got that. You won't have that at the start of the game. So this is like the final track of the game. But yeah, no, I haven't done a championship run yet. I don't necessarily plan on doing one because I've seen I've seen how people do it as Jet Vermillion and I'm just like I can't do that. I simply cannot do that. One, because because I like to know I like to face the way I'm going, and two, I haven't unlocked Jet Vermillion yet. Anyways, here we are lap two, and I was taking a good line until Fireball hits me. Uh, well, that's one of the corners you can get an advantage on. I think actually no, every one of these corners is a is advantage you basically because the AI, even Master AI, they don't take the best line. So I've got the lead somehow against Master AI. Haven't, haven't particularly had to block. Well, I am now. For the record. That wasn't intentional at all. No, I didn't mean to boost there. What am I doing? That wasn't the best line either. I'm just criticizing myself now. Uh, just a bit on the starting straight. Yeah, no. Even if I did unlock Jet Vermillion, no. I don't think I'd use them. I've discussed this at the start of this video. It's... I, I do fall into the category of Uh, noob, you can't... Oh, I can't use him, oh shit, oh, he's only got E-grade turning. It's not because he's got E-grade turning, it's because he's a tank. Jet Vermillion is a tank. And... I'm leading on the last lap. This is amazing. And yeah, I was... Nine times out of ten, I will always pick... I'll use warrior class, for example, a ninja over a, a, a knight, a, a big, heavy, sturdy knight. I've won! That's it, that's the queen. No, not the queen cup, my mistake, that's the bishop cup done. Uh, yeah, for the record, I have, for this cup run, I have cut out the runs which I failed, that's why you saw the in the top left of my spare machines, the number went randomly went down. That wasn't. That was just me cutting out all the tra all the races I failed to finish. Basically, I don't think I finished third in any of these races. It was either first or second. That's pretty damn sweet. And I set a few new records for myself. They're not amazing, but you know, gotta challenge myself before I can challenge others. So yep, this is another cup run by Jacker on F0 maximum velocity. Uh, thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed it. Probably wasn't my best commentary this time round compared to my other one. I just don't want to repeat myself in every single video, just like discuss the same things such as soundtracks. But hey. Uh, yeah, uh, thank you for watching. I'll do probably I'll, I will do the bishop no the knight and the pawn cubs. If you if if you want me to do a different you do it in a different vehicle, just say. Obviously I can't do Jet Vermillion yet, but I'm happy to try it in another vehicle. 
Oh, I'm happy to try the same cup in the in the set in the vehicle. But um, yeah. But for now. Wrong checkpoint. <laughs>